What's going on, y'all? This is John Alsace with Face Mask Fantasy. We got new up-to-date fantasy content coming your way every day on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, then please hit that button. But before we get into our main topic for today, my co-host Nick Payne put in a ton of work to give you guys a free 2021 redraft draft kit available on our website which can be found at facemaskpod.com. It's a great piece of content, something that other analysts might be charging you for, but we're giving it to you for free. So without further ado, let's get into some fantasy talk. And today we're going to talk about Jacob Eason. So some news came out. Everybody knows about it by now. Carson Wentz is going to be out five to 12 weeks. Apparently a broken bone came loose in his foot that required surgery. And it has led the way to Jacob Eason being the presumed week one starter. Now, who is Jacob Eason? He is a 6'6", 230 pound quarterback who was drafted by the Colts with the 122nd overall pick in the 2020. NFL draft. In college at Georgia, a young Jacob Eason was actually seen as the future face of the program. But due to some unfortunate luck, he ended up losing his job to Jake Fromm and transferring to the University of Washington. He played one inconsequential year for them and moved on to the NFL draft the next season. Now to speak a little bit about his traits. He has high-end arm strength, but his feel for playing the game just isn't quite there yet. He lacks anticipation, accuracy, and short area touch. Now these were all concerns in college, so they're only going to be exacerbated in the NFL. And for that reason, I am not very high on what Jacob Eason can do from a fantasy perspective. I'm not going to say he can't win the Colts games because the Colts have a great roster, but just from a fantasy perspective, even though he's going to be the presumed week one starter, he's not somebody that I'm going to be investing in outside of Superflex formats. I've spoken before about how I like my quarterbacks to be dual threat quarterbacks, and Jacob Eason is the antithesis of dual threat. He absolutely lacks athleticism, as witnessed by his negative 69 yards last season. That's rushing. And he got that because he constantly took sacks last year because he was trying to outrun defenders and just couldn't. And that was in college. So it's going to get even worse in the NFL. If he doesn't learn how to take sacks, it's going to be a real issue for him. It's no coincidence that reports out of Colt's camp are that he's been checking down to running backs in his work with the first team offense thus far. So it's fair to wonder, is this guy going to be a poor man's, poor man's, poor man's Philip Rivers? Now, the only benefit to this guy is that he's going to get probably about a half a season's worth of starts. And, you know, that is if he holds on to his starting gig because the Colts also have sixth round rookie Sam Erlinger. So there is the possibility that he just stinks out the gate and they throw in Sam Erlinger as the guy that they just handpicked this past season. So again, value in different formats. In super flex leagues, a starting quarterback always has value. So I'd be putting down a fair amount of cash to grab him if I'm QB needy. Like, But like I said, not a dual threat QB. So in a one QB league, I'm completely disinterested. I don't want anything to do with him. Let somebody else waste the roster spot on him. Let somebody else waste the fab on him in a one QB league. It's just not worth it. Even in a dynasty one QB league, I just don't see the upside there. The jump this guy would have to make would be Josh Allen-esque. And I don't think that's something that we should be expecting. And when Carson comes back, he's the clear cut starter in this offense for this team in the long term. And they will have theoretically fixed a long standing issue with Carson Wentz's body. And it's all systems go for Carson Wentz once he gets the green light to play. Pretty much no matter how Jacob Eason does, he's going to get benched for Carson Wentz. When you take into account the fact that he just doesn't bring any athleticism or rushing upside to the role, I'm completely out on him again. I'm only looking for him in super flex and that's it. So what do you guys think about Jacob Eason? Am I completely off base with him or do you think I'm on point? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is John Alsace. This is the Face Mask Podcast bringing you new fantasy content every day on this channel. So if you like it, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for listening and have a great day.